So I'm working on this overlocker, it's a Mylot Janome. It's just needs a service. It's been um, accused of making lots of noises, knife not working. I've just put six layers of cotton through it and the knife is working. So what it's telling me is that it's not being handled properly. And the other evidence of it not being handled well is because there's so much oil in there. I can see congealed uh, fibres building up everywhere. There is a lot of, um, you know, uh, discoloration from oil as well. So um, it's, it's a case of the threading not working. And again, it's down to the fact that these machines, they don't allow easy access to this looper guide here. So we've got a guide just down in there. Let me see if I can get close up. So we've got the two loopers. So you've got your upper looper and your lower looper there. There. So you've got your lower looper and your upper looper there. And this lower looper needs to have a thread at the back where it can form the chain and the chain comes in right there. So there's a, a hole right there, let me see. When you've got the door on there, you can't actually see that. So goodness knows how, how we need to be threading these machines up. But just look at all that oil. Um, wipe your machine down, just general maintenance of your machine will make such a difference. Um, Put the covers on. I think neglecting your machines will cause lots of problems for you. So my basic advice on um, before you service a machine, just keep it generally clean and you can avoid um, service costs. So just remove the bottom. Just look at that oil. Just too much oil. You don't need to oil um, machines as much as that they have what's known as a thick grease inside the mechanics. Um, but what will happen is, can you see all of that? What happens is all the fluff builds up. This will come off any second now as well. Just need to remove a few more screws, but you can already see the problems that are gonna be caused with all this fluff. It's going to get congealed, it's going to compact then it's going to get stuck in between all the mechanics. There, I can already see. Right, okay, so we've got another bit here that I've opened up. So I've got the feed dogs here, and you can see the amount of um, compressed fluff and lint we've got in here. So if I just, oh, let's use that side show you what's happened is now because again we've got so much oil i can't normally what happens is when i slide this along <laughs> it just won't move um i just push that along and the whole um fluff lint or compressed lint comes out as a solid block of um like a, a compacted piece of brick um, and you can see it's almost formed the shape there, but because it's so squeeze that and get oily fingers from that, um, you need to make sure you take your needle plate off regularly because can you see, if you don't remove that lint, how can the feed dogs do their job? Especially if you know, you're building up a big thick felt um, from the lint that's been um, placed in there. So you've got to make sure you lift off your to play and it really isn't very difficult usually like on these genome machines it literally is just take the foot off and remove this one screw and it's easy to get to because it comes directly in front like that uh, with a screwdriver so you just need to remove that to remove your foot and you can get access to that have to get at it um, very slowly and gradually I'm going to remove these needles I always replace needles whether they're new or not um, and I put a ballpoint 80 in there usually. I do tell the customer and I'll put this back in her box for her so that she's got them handy. So I'm gonna to have to remove this foot attachment ankle thing that I call. And you can see in there and the feed dogs there at the back like that. So guys, just look after your machines. It's not all you have to do. And, and there's nothing wrong with this machine. She's then um, brought it in for a service. And that's fine. Let's get that out of the way. Let's move this back. And that can't move all the way back. 
because there's so much lint in the way I'm struggling to move it along. So just get yourself a brush and just get in there and work at it. Okay, so if we take off the front panel, so I've just removed that screw there and um, bring that off. You can see inside there, again, there's um, a lot more uh, fluff um, and it's all really oily, which means it's got um, going to be congested inside there. Let me show you something else. So it's like an irrigation system going on in here. So we've got a well here. So this is a pool of oil. And what happens from this pool of oil, it's got threads attached to it. So nice, big, thick, chunky threads. And those go feeding to the different parts. So it's um, snakes around and feeds the different parts of the mechanics of the machine. So you're only ever going to put one drop of oil there and there. Now, I've also noticed on this one that there's evidence of oil being dropped into the tension discs. discs. Imagine doing that. Imagine putting drops of oil into your tension discs um, and you saw all these thick chunks of felt. If you've got tension discs full of oil and then full of lint, you're not going to have a tension spring that works because it's so jam-packed full of fluff that it can't open and close because it's trapped with lots of um, muck inside it.